Hey guys and welcome to an item guide for the cycle, gyroscopes. So this item actually has a K marks value of 2,563 per vendor, as well as the item weighs four and has up to 10 per stack. So when it comes to actually finding this item, it doesn't really spawn that much on Bright Sands. The only area that really spawns around is the crash ship as it is a tier five area. Now, when it does come to Crescent Falls, it is definitely a common spawning item in Crescent Falls down by the nutritional farm. Processing is a great location as well as the Starport Warehouse and down between the Lakeside Building and the Starport Warehouse. And then finally up by the Pinnacle Labs is another great location where it can spawn. Now for me personally, I didn't actually find it at all on Bright Sands. The only two locations that I have actually got them consistently for me in Crescent Falls was the Starport Admin area, which is really great, as well as the Base Camp Power Room. This is also a decent location that I actually found them. This item can also spawn in cabinets dotted around the map, as well as hidden stashes, and they do need to be tier three and above. When it comes to crafting for the Zeus beam, you are going to need 902,000 K marks. You are going to need 10 Savage Marauder Fresh, three Alpha Crusher Hearts, 10 Meteor Cores, as well as three Gyroscopes. And then when it comes to the exotic helmet, you are going to need 51,000 K marks, one Crusher Hide, two interactive screens, and one Gyroscope. And now when it comes to tasks, with Osiris Laser Show Part 2, you are going to need 6 Optic Glass, 10 Radio Equipment, and 1 Gyroscope. When it comes to Korolev for Heavy Construction Part 6, you are going to need 1 Gyroscope, 5 Miniature Reactors, and 15 Copper Wire. And then with the ICA Back to Basics Part 7, you are going to need 5 Miniature Reactors, 8 Smart Mesh, and 2 Gyroscopes. Now with the jobs with Osiris for drone repair, you are going to need three gyroscopes and three interactive screens. With Osiris, again, with safety measures, you are going to need three gyroscopes, three autoloaders and five hardened bone plates. And then finally with Osiris for a new energy source, you are going to need eight charge spinal bases and three gyroscopes. When it comes to the prospector's quarters for the generator upgrades, which is the Arium rate level seven, the four out of fifth upgrade. You are going to need 69,219 K marks, one gyroscope, 11 heavy strider flesh and 31 Osiris scripts. And of course, don't forget to check out the official Cycle Frontier Wiki. Now with this Wikipedia page, it does have every single thing it has in the cycle, obviously. But it is an awesome resource for these companion sites. You've got a interactive map, item tracker, weapon calculator, loadout generator, and there will be an app coming soon, which is really cool. So in this case, we're going to click on the interactive map and up the top right here, we're going to be typing in gyroscope. Now, this is how you'd want to search it. So you can see right here, there's numbers on the screen just here. It actually tells you how many spawn in the in that area. So there's three in base camp two out in the middle of nowhere so i guess stashes and then 41 around the crash ship as it is a level five area so as you can see it is up there but then if we actually switch over to crescent falls and then click the search icon again you can see right here that pinnacle labs has got a decent amount starport warehouse down by the nutritional farms processing so you can see it's not a very common spawn but the warehouse in my opinion would be the best one to actually find these items as they do actually spawn actually out and about and they're not inside of containers i hope you guys found this guide useful if you did don't forget to leave it a like and subscribe and also don't forget to check out the twitch channel i live stream every single day over on twitch.tv slash piranha at 7 a.m gmt which is around about 2 a.m est also do not forget to check out our discord as well as the website the cycle frontier helpline.com as we do have a huge community which is dedicated to helping you guys over on the discord as well don't forget to check out the 
the official cycle wikipedia which is the cyclefrontier.wiki they do have loads of information as well as a mini map as well as item trackers as well as a huge amount of resources over on there so definitely go and check them out and a huge thank you to the patrons supporting this channel over on patreon.com slash piranha tv and especially a big thank you to beansy freddy and justin asdf for your continued support 